Hello YouTube viewers, last night I got bored and decided I want to look up some new ROMs. Well, luckily I decided to look up on the night that the new Ice Cream Sandwich ROM, Synergen Mod, Synergen Mod 9, had gotten released for the HP touchpad. Well, I decided to do it on my phone first, and here's a little glimpse of what it looks like for the phone, for the Droid 3. It's very smooth. Um, has quite a few new features like you go from straight from apps and it goes straight into widgets in your um, drawer your app drawer um, cool new features is you can hold an app down and slide it up to the top and you can go to app info and it takes you straight to the app so you can immediately disable aka uninstall it if it's an app that wasn't made in the ROM uh, um, it does have a task manager built into it now instead of recent apps by holding the home button for instance if we open up a couple of things like there's a dollar, there's recent pictures alright so we hold it you can see the apps are here and it's a slide to terminate them if you leave apps running it will build up and they will continue to run especially an app like Google Maps and it will use a lot of battery and consuming just kill the battery alright so let's get started with putting ice cream sandwich on my HP touchpad alright first I have a couple things I want to talk about this video is for the Synergen Mod 9 on the HP touchpad I'm showing you how to install it on top well not really on top but in replace of Synergen Mod 7 if you have not installed Android on the HP touchpad at all and this is your first time installed please go into my description at the bottom and there's a link to one of my um, friends on YouTube they have an idiot's guide for installing Android on the HP touchpad please go watch that if you do not watch it you'll be completely lost and have no clue what to do during this video if you do watch that video and this is your first time what you're gonna have to do is just replace the files that he's using with the files that is in this video um, it is have it has been said that you can install this via clockwork clockwork recovery but it has not been tested and it's still try at your own risk stage I am not responsible for anything you do to your device if you brick break mess up your device it is on you this video is for educational purposes only alright so what we need to do first is we need to download some files that we have so now what we have is we have a file that's on the desktop that I named CM9HP touchpad and in this file we have three files these are the files that you're gonna need you need the actual Acme Installer 2. There is a second installer, uh, unlike the first one where you install Synergy Mod 7, that you have to use the Acme Installer 2. If you try using the old one, it will not work. The next, we need this Google Apps package. You do need the new version. There's a new one out. There'll be a link in the description bar. Everything on this video, there'll be a link for in the description bar but you do need to use the new version of Google Apps the old one will not work um, clockwork recovery is in the bottom the links in the description if you need it and then you need the actual alpha zero uh, Synergy Mod 9 file itself which is right here alright so next what we need to do is if you're watching this then you have saw the idiots God installation video or you already have Synergy Mod 7 on your HP touchpad and what we need to do is go to the PC we need to go to C program files and we need to go down to Palm Inc and this is where you'll have your installation files for your Novacom and your Acme Installer 1 alright now what we need to do is go into the touchpad grab your Acme installer 2 throw it into there so now Acme installer 2 is now in our Novacom folder with our Palm Inc on our desktop next what we need to do is go into the device itself 
and plug it up which I'll show you right here I'm plugging it up now okay once it's plugged up you need to click or collect you need to select USB drive on your HP touchpad and it'll pop up a window showing you the device and there we are alright so now we're in the HP touchpad now what we need to do is scroll down and you need to make a folder in the root I cannot be more clear this folder has to be labeled exactly the way it's labeled here I will tell you how to label it it's going to be labeled CM install C M I N S T A L L. No spaces, no capitalize, everything exactly the same. And it has to be in the root. So we go into the CM install. And that's where we're going to take the Google Apps and the touchpod file. Copy and paste them in there. Alright, so now the files are there next what we want to do is we want to safely remove or eject the webOS device by right clicking on it in the little icon panel or unplugging it however you want to do it alright so it's disconnected now alright next what we want to do is we want to boot into the webOS recovery mode the way we do that is we unplug the USB connection if you're still connected set that aside All right, we're going to go to apps scroll over to settings go to device info so we'll go to reset options and then we'll go to restart alright what you're going to do is after you hit restart you're going to wait till you see the circle spinning on the the main screen and as soon as you see that circle you're going to hold the volume up key until you get to the USB mode that we want so hit restart. It'll say restarting. Alright, there's a circle. Now we're going to start pressing the button. And this is the mode that we want to be in. This is telling our computer, the devices, is that it's ready to be written. It's waiting for Acme Install to write to this device as we speak. So go ahead and plug in our device. Next, what we want to do is open a command window. You can do this by hitting Start, Run, or just searching. The way we're going to do it is we're going to just search for it. So CMD is what you look for, which is Command Prompt. So you can either do it in the search in Windows 7. Um, I'm not sure if Windows Vista has that capability or not. If not, you can just go back and hit run and then type in CMD. Alright, once you have that up, we're going to change the directory to the default one, which all the commands are going to be in the bottom description that you can use. Alright, then once we change our directory, Oops, accidentally leaned on the cable. We're going to change directory to program files. And then from there, we're going to change directory again to palm, comma, space, ink. So now we're in palm ink. Alright, and we're going to do DIR for directory. It tells us what's in there. And as you can see, we have Atme Installer, Atme Installer 2, Novacom EXE, Novacom D and then terminal. So next, what we're going to enter is Novacom space boot space mem colon slash slash less than symbol. And you got to enter this exactly how it says it right there. One second. Sorry. All 
Alright, now we have been switched into double penguin mode after we hit enter. And it should be looking like this. What it's doing now is it's writing all the files. Don't touch it, don't worry. If anything happens during the install, whether you lose power, um, just your computer just stops working, uh, could anything could happen. You unplug the cable, you drop it. Um, the easiest way to recover is to start completely over. Go back to the beginning of this video and start from step one. Um, if you get stuck in double penguin mode, like I did the first time I tried it, the easiest way to get out of it is to, um, of course, don't mess with the USB plug whatsoever if you can help it. Try leaving it in the whole time. But if you hold the home button, both volume up and down by holding the center of it and pressing, and the home button. Did I say home button? I meant power button. Power home volumes, all three at the same time. Press them in and hold them for 10 seconds. At the end of 10 seconds exactly, your device should force a shut off. And then after that, you can boot it up normally. And see now it's removing Google Apps installation file. It's already installed Google Apps. And it's flushing the cache. And now it's preparing for a shutdown. And there it goes. Alright, next we're going to go boot in the clockwork mod. So we can go into the recovery mode. Alright, first what we're going to do is wipe the cache. We're going to try this first without wiping user data and seeing how it works. We might have to come back into it and wipe the user data. Do not know yet. And we will reboot system now and see how this works. And we will go ahead and unplug the USB. Okay, so as we can see, we already got a different boot screen animation. By the way, if you have noticed, I have music playing in the background. I do not claim any rights to any of the songs that have been played on any of my videos. I usually listen to iHeartRadio in the background as I'm doing my videos, so just to let everyone know that it's just random music that I just turn on a random station as I start the video. Well, this is new. I have not seen this before. I've seen a couple installation videos. I wanted to watch the procedure before I did it myself to see if there was any major bugs. Um, which of course there is bugs because this is the Alpha Zero version. It's the first one. Um, but I have not seen out of the devices that I have flashed one look like this so maybe it's doing something different. I don't know. It says optimizing applications. 77 of 127. So I guess it's automatically fixing my applications that I had making sure that they have permissions right and everything not sure I'm just taking a wild shot in the dark at that and it looks like we're up and running still has the same background that I had from the last version clocks on. Looks like we're already connected to my Wi-Fi and it remembered it. So that looks like recent apps.
assume my apps are currently being brought in as we speak. And I'm getting emails. That's pretty cool. And our settings button is right there. So let's go. It's a little mini settings it looks like it has right here on the bar itself for the notifications. That's pretty cool. So let's go into the main settings. And it's showing that we are running 4.0.3 on 900 touchpad alpha full of bugs. So we are running the right software. Let's make sure our Wi-Fi is working. Let's go to a browser. Okay, so it looks like we're using Google Chrome as the browser. Okay, it looks like at the bottom, what they're using is instead of a menu key, you have a back, a home, and then you have a recent apps, which is like a task manager. So that that's pretty cool. Alright, so this is the Cinegen Mod 9 that we're running called Ice Cream Sandwich, and it looks like we're fully running. I will be posting some videos soon of, I like how smooth it is. I'll be posting some videos reviewing the actual OS itself, and hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll always love to have new subscribers, and thanks for watching.